This will be a presentation on how to touch tools off using tool measure in a vertical mill or horizontal mill environment. You first want to be in setup by pressing this button here. You will then need to make sure you are in a handle job mode, such as this handle right here in the operation panel. When that happens, you will see numbers jump. Zeros come down until across the TLM value, measure value, and surface height. Making sure you have the first tool inside the spindle at this time, you will then move the X and Y axes as needed to get to the top of the part in the fixture. Once you have that, go press the Z axis, then to handle jog and move down the particular tool until it gets just above the top of your part and you'll be using your handle jog, so you'll be seeing the numbers on the left-hand side here increasing in negative value. Once you get to the place where it will actually touch off, in this case, if it's close, I will slow it down a little bit to one thousandth per click, and then we will actually go in and touch off. We may at this point use a feeler gauge or a piece of paper so we do not actually touch the ML drill or tap directly on top of the material just to make a little safety distance. Then, once we get down to the number we want to, once the paper is stuck and cannot move back and forth, we will then go on the tool measure side. Make sure we are in tooling measure. And just come over here and press the offset right. When we do that, then the numbers that come in here in the measure value will then populate inside of whatever height offset and the length highlighted in blue. Now, if you happen to use a 123 block, or you may have an indicator or spacer that will allow you to read a certain distance up above the material, this may have a LED sensor or a dial indicator. You can now come into your surface height. Press that button there. The surface height information will highlight in blue up top. At that particular time, you will put the distance that you will require. So, if we use the 2 inch side of a 123 block, you can merely then take 2.0, then press input to actually then input a surface height of 2 inches. So that when it actually shows the measured value, it actually adds this number, plus a negative on this number to give you your actual measured height. So once again, we come down, continue to touch off until the 123 block or the sensor turns on or, for the case of the indicator that goes to zero, to indicate that we are, in fact, two inches above the part. We can once again do the exact same thing. Press the offset right, and the number that is in the measured value will highlight in whatever height offset we had set up, as indicated in blue. I hope this video was very informative, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks!